Hi guys! Okay, so first of all, nail polish isn't haram. You just can't do your wudu with it because the water doesn't go through it, which therefore means your wudu is invalid. However, Inglots, as a lot of us have heard, and I've mentioned them before in a videos a couple of months back when I first tried them out, and now there's another company called Tuesday in Love, have come up with water permeable polish. Um, Inglot like to call theirs a breathable nail enamel and Tuesday in Love write on their packet water permeable polish okay Tuesday in Love Inglot let me just start off by telling you guys I've used Inglot for a couple of months now and I've only used Tuesday in Love for about three weeks now because I heard of Inglot first before um, Tuesday in Love okay um, right now on my hands I'm wearing a lilac colour from Tuesday in Love um, however this, this whole week I was wearing a dark red colour from Inglot. So, let me just start off by telling you guys the differences that you will notice straight away when you have both products in front of you, like I do, for example. Okay, so first of all, here's the, this is an Inglot one. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to smell it for you. Okay? It smells just like any other nail polish, very strong and like toxic E. okay? And then here's the Tuesday in Love one. It literally smells of pretty much nothing. If you take a really deep breath, you might get a whiff of something, but it's nothing that makes you kind of <coughs> choke. So that's the difference already. When you're applying the Inglot polish, it um, feels just like any other nail polish. And when you're applying the Tuesday in Love one, it's slightly thicker and almost not paste, not like a paste, but almost like a paint rather than I don't know but you can see the difference for yourselves when you want to remove Inglot you have to remove it with a normal nail polish remover when you want to remove Tuesday in Love it's actually peelable so you literally just peel it off which I will de demonstrate at the end of this video as well so just a few little pointers for you guys to make decisions there okay now what I'm gonna do is um, just show you actually Tuesday in Love a little gift set so two colors and a top coat. Um, I haven't seen an Inglot top coat yet but that's maybe because I wasn't looking but they probably do have one and here's a little gift set for Tuesday in Love. are uh, based in Canada and um, the website is TuesdayInLove.com also proceeds from every every of their sales go to charity I'm not sure which charity but you can go on their website and find out. I'm just gonna go ahead first and show you and do the uh, little test for you. Okay then. So for the test you need two paper towels so I've just got two kitchen towels like that, folded it over. And what you're gonna need to do, or what I'm gonna need to do if you wanna do it, is paint a little dollop of, of the nail polish on and leave it to dry. So I'm gonna do a dollop of Inglot, and then I'm gonna do a dollop of, um, uh, she's in love. I mean, I can't lie, I have been enjoying the Inglot polishes a lot because the colors are great. And, honestly, so far, in review terms, the Inglot one lasts longer on your nails because it's a lot stronger. But then again, I think it, it's basically like a normal nail polish, that's why. Whereas the Tuesday in Love, because it's peelable, means it's very, it comes off very, very easily. Okay, so here's the Inglot polish and here's the Tuesday in Love one. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do another Tuesday in Love one with the top coat on top to test that. See if the top coat... Um, makes any difference with how much water goes through, etc, etc, blah de blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here are the three samples. Now I'm just going to wait for them all to dry and show you guys what to do next. Bye, okay. Just while we're waiting, guys, I might as well talk you through my outfit details. Uh, the scarf I'm wearing is a newbie from Lazy Doll, which is going to be available on the weekend, inshallah. And I've got this mango blazer on, and then underneath is a statement t-shirt, which says, today is my only day. Shout out to Statement who send me things all the time in the post and always update my wardrobe for me. Every single piece of Statement clothing is now also um, ethically manufactured and check out their website statement.com for more things and you can find them on Instagram, Facebook, all those social media things. Um, if you follow me then you'll be able to see their links as well. Okay, just wearing these boyfriend jeans and then I will be wearing heels but if you would like to see a full outfit then follow me on Instagram, Dina Tokyo. Uh, to see the full outfit because Instagram now has video. Yay! I'm sorry, one second guys. Hello! Hi guys, okay, um, this is the most I could zoom in, so sorry about that. 
Anyway, these three colours are well and truly all completely and utterly dry. There's my finger, sorry. Um, Inglots, Tuesday in Love, Tuesday in Love with a uh, top coat. Um, so what I'm going to do now is this little... Oh, hold on, you can't see. This little black thing over here has got water in it. So I'm just going to dip my finger in and drop, drop, you know, just like drop some on the water and do that. Yeah, so okay, so here we go. Pew. Wait, pew. Hold on, hold on. Pew. Okay, it's not enough. I'm going to have to pick this up to make sure I put on layers of water. Because we're pretending that the second paper towel underneath this one is um you know like your nail so if it goes through and is wet on the other side then that's kind of like saying that the water has got through to your nails do you understand the technique i hope so oh my god i kind of just ruined the experiment because i dropped a big lot of water next to the inglot one but don't worry it's around the outside of it so we know where to look okay and anyway we can see the water droplets themselves if they're sinking in or not so anyway here we go over here I should have really used some sort of dye in my water so you guys could see, but I apologise, I didn't think that through very well. Okay, so already I can see that this Tuesday in Love one has spread out completely. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me, let me bring this a little closer for you guys without making the water fall. Okay, here we go. Now let's do the bug ass. Okay, so there's the drop. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, Dana darlings. There's the water droplet for the Inglot one. It's pretty much staying the same. Here's the Tuesday in Love one, it's spread out slightly like a paste. And the Tuesday in Love one with um, top coat has spread out a little bit, but not really that much. So we'll leave it for about a few seconds, see what happens, okay? Okay, so I'm going to go now and have a look on the other side. Here's the other side. Inglot one is not wet at all, it's only wet around here where I dropped the water. But on the actual polish area, it's still completely dry. As you can see, it's still hard, you can hear it. And here we go, here's a Tuesday in Love one. You can see it's gone a little bit damp if I touch it. It is slight, slightly damp, not crazy damp. But I'm guessing if you were to make Wadoo with this polish on, you know a lot of water is going to be penetrating. So it's going to be like a tap running through. So probably a lot more will go through on your nail. And here's the one with the, um, with the top coat. It is a teeny bit damp, but a lot less damp than this one. So, obviously that's because it's got two layers, but it still does go through, just not as much as the one layer. So there we go guys, that's the little experiment. Um, so I showed you guys the back, I'm going to show you guys a little bit clearer. The one layer Tuesday Love was quite damp, bearing in mind I only put like two tiny droplets on and then left it to sink in. So imagine if you were going to gush water through a whole paper for example is most likely going to go through a lot quicker and a lot more. Unfortunately Inglot has been completely dry, not a little inkling of water has gone through. I can only feel the damp where I spilled water around it. And the Tuesday Love with the top coat, um, there you can see the colour going through a little bit there. So based on that my conclusion would be that the Inglot polish doesn't let water go through onto your nail. Um, however the Tuesday Love one does um as long as you're wearing one layer um now it's up to you guys what you want to do after watching this video you might feel that it's still not suitable to use either one etc but one thing i do want to point out is the tuesday love one is very handy if for example you um are going to a wedding or somewhere in the evening where you wanted to wear nail polish tuesday love is perfect for that because you literally can peel off i'm going to demonstrate how to peel off peel off in two seconds flat which again is amazing because you don't need to worry about purchasing nail polish remover so I'm just peeling off as you can see it's coming off in one layer and there we go that is why I have favoured Tuesday in Love because it's not only peelable but also the water does go through so you can make your redo with it but then you can also take it off straight away which is also handy because sometimes when you wear nail polish it chips but it's hard to start scratching all of the polish off and it takes absolutely ages and some of it stays on. Whereas this, if it does chip or some of it peels off and you don't like the look of it, you just take the whole lot off in two minutes flat. So, I hope that's helped a little bit guys. Up to you guys what you want to do. Uh, check both Tuesday Love and Inglot out and don't forget to like and subscribe. Wow, I never say that. I also just wanted to let you guys know, my very dear friend and also a photographer that I've worked with 
a lot over the past year, Alicia Gamarata, the Italian photographer that a lot of you guys probably have heard of from me because I keep going on about her and other hijabis that she has also worked with um, in London. So anyway, she is a very successful photographer but now that she's living in London she wanted to, to do something um, that is also going to help a lot of us hijabi Muslim girls because she's got to know a lot of us and she wants to now cover um, you know, all ladies events, weddings, etc. So she's now available for bookings for occasions that are not just fashion related as well. Okay, so if you guys need a female photographer, um, all of her details will be in the description below and um, email her at Alicia Gamarata Alicia at Alicia Gamarata .com or info at Alicia Gamarata .com. Anyway, um, Ramadan is next week, Ramadan Kareem. Um, what else was I going to say? I'm still going to do that baby video, inshallah, just when I have time and space to do it. This video has gone on for way too long. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, keep it covered. Peace.